I think as a songwriter, there is that urge to connect. There is that urge to say like, this is how I feel sometimes. And then have fans say, oh my God, like I feel that way sometimes too. And I think a documentary, if you are open enough, you can connect with people. <laughs> Being in the studio was, that was some of my favorite stuff that we filmed. That was the first time I've ever had a camera crew in the studio. Mm. It's always been really off limits. Mm -hmm. It was actually amazing having you in the studio because like we'd finish writing a song and like a, a sound guy would be like, this is really, that's a really good song. <laughs> I'd be like, right. Thank you. <laughs> actually, we never get this in the studio. Nobody ever is like, hey, no, that's, that's, that's a good one. Right. right. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. I just had no, honestly, had no idea how it would affect the creative process. Mm -hmm. We ended up with you in the studio writing songs like Me and The Man. Hey, then I'd be the man. I'd be the man. That is a concept I've thought about for so many years, but I just always thought like, I wanna say it in a way that's like a satire and that's kind of like, kind of funny, mm -hmm. but it's also making a very serious point. I think when I hit on this idea of like, if I was a man, I'd be the man. Like you guys would think I was so cool if I was doing this stuff and I was a guy. <laughs> like, you know, and I could get away with this, I could get away with this, I could get away with this, I get applauded for this. We drink to the bin and the bottles, to the bitches and models, to the da 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 da. Working with um, Joel Little, yeah. who has two very strong, wonderful, intelligent young daughters. Mm. And I think he, you know, I think he was writing for them. Yeah. And I love showing that we really do have allies in the male mm -hmm. civilization. What I love about that scene in the film is that, you know, sometimes the camera is right here as you come up with the lyric. How much did you notice us? Like, I mean, the, I think, yeah, I know what you mean, because you really were very close to my face <laughs> in a lot of it. I didn't, I, I don't think we ever like asked you guys, like, can you go? Like, because right. you just no. weren't invasive at all. I think I was really in my feelings. I like, yeah. I just get really in, in it when I'm writing a song mm -hmm. and I disappear into my phone because my phone is where I keep my notes mm -hmm. and my phone is where I'm editing. Uh, the field of north, found someone to commit to. Every time I wake up in the middle of the night or every time I think of a title or every time I think of a common phrase and flip it, mm -hmm. I love doing that. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in my in my notes, but uh, yeah, there's a real speed to it too. Like it seems yeah. like writing a song has a kind of dynamic where you go, go, and you kind of have to keep going for many hours, a lot of the time until it's done. Yeah, I have to do that. I'm not, everyone's different with sure. their writing. A lot of people are stop, start. Mm -hmm. I know people who will write a verse for one song and decide to just put it on another song or like I like this chorus but I like it with this pre-chorus from this song and I'm like <laughs> I've never done that once I kind of have to capitalize on the excitement of me getting that idea mm -hmm. and see it all the way through or else I'll leave it behind and mm -hmm. I'll just assume it wasn't good enough Oh my God, did we just do like this whole verse and chorus? The ideas are my favorite part of the of everything that I do. Mm. That moment where you're like, oh, I know what it's called. Or mm -hmm. you're like, I know what the hook is now. And there's one point in the movie where you actually see on your face, you go like, because you have an idea, <laughs> you get to see it. Took the money in the, the bag and I stole took the, the money. Took the, put the money in the bag and I, I stole, stole the, the keys. keys. That was the last time you ever saw me. I, ah! I remember when I used to get an idea when I was 12 years old in my room. I'd first get an idea and I'd be like, yes, idea. And then I get this like, fear and almost sorrow that no one was ever gonna hear it. I'm never gonna get to make this into something. Mm -hmm. It's just mine and like, there's something cute about that, but like, I wanna make something. Getting to capture on films, you know, getting an idea, that's one thing that I, I'm glad I'll have um, forever. I'll always mm -hmm. have kind of a memory of when that idea happened, that idea happened. I'd never had that before. Anyway, it's good that we both get to make things now. We're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs>